Hi guys, this is Rich from pitlanes.com. Uh, today I've got a bit of a different video for you, uh, which was kind of inspired by someone on the pitlanes.com forums talking about different uh, sim racing dashes from like sim race hardware and things like that. Um, and basically, I got to thinking about the one I've got, um, which was uh, sort of a home built uh, Arduino dash, and I want to share it with you because. Um, I've just found some extra software for it which makes it work with a variety of sims including iRacing, R Factor 1, R Factor 2, Project Cars and Assetto Corsa. Um, I'm presuming because it works with R Factor 1 it may also work with uh, Game Stock Car series which is interesting. Um, and unlike SLI uh, type offerings from uh, like Leo Bodner, uh, this can be built for £14 and the um, software is for free. So I'm going to do my best to sort of give you um, sort of instructions on how to do it. I've got all the links in the description for everything, where to get the software, where to get the IDE for Arduino and where to get the hardware, all the hardware you need for it. Uh, and I'm going to try and give you sort of very simple instructions on how to get it set up. It's really not very difficult, a little bit of trial and error, it's worth it. Um, if you've got any questions, please put them down in the description. I'm not an expert, but I will try and answer your questions. Yeah, let's get into it. So, first of all, uh, I have some screenshots of how it's set up on my rig. I've got it pretty ghetto style. Um, blue tacked to the middle of my uh, middle screen um, other people have made really nice boxes for them and another thing I'd like to point out is that the buttons that you see above the um, shift lights uh, people I believe have like is it desoldered them and then extended them using like wire and made it made made it made uh, a eight, eight or nine button button boxes from them so not only do they get a dash they get a really smart dash with buttons also attached which is a nice way to go about things unfortunately um, I have the DIY skills of a toddler so mine is blue tacked um, but the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to the link on your screen and get the Arduino IDE uh, and this will be used to upload the sketch, the software, to your Arduino um, so that it understands the incoming commands and stuff like that. You don't really need to worry about it, you just need to kind of follow these instructions and hopefully it should work. And the next thing you're going to want to do is actually go and download the software from the link on your screen and this is where you're actually going to get um, the stuff to upload to the Arduino and also the executable files which will make it work with the different sims. The first thing you're going to be seeing is a folder which it has Arduino code, Seto Corsa, iRacing Project Cars, R Factor 1 and R Factor 2. Obviously they're the sims it's going to work for. Um, a thing I haven't tested yet is whether the R Factor 1 code will work with um, the game stock car series interesting it might do um, if someone does do that please let me know in the uh, comments um, because I'm interested to know myself so first of all we're going to want to go into the Arduino code folder and within there you're going to see a um, folder named sketch underscore tm 1638 v1 underscore 1 uh, and if you click on that uh, what you're going to see is a sketch file. Now, uh, just to get a little bit sidetracked, uh, what you're going to need to do is follow this sort of wiring diagram, if you can call it that. I stole this uh, photo from the um, from the iRacing forums, uh, and this is how you connect up the jumper cables. Um, and where you're going to need to plug them in um, because there's a very certain way of doing it uh, and if you don't do it this way um, then this, it's not going to work as you'll see in the next screen with the um, with the Ardu Arduino sketch because what you can see on this screen is data pin 
clock pin and strobe pin and that refers back to that diagram so make sure you wire everything up correctly otherwise you're not going to get anything from your dash another important thing to uh, point out in the Arduino uh, uh, IDE here is that you need to have the correct Arduino type board selected and the um, correct COM port now I genuinely have totally forgotten how to select the correct COM port. It's that long since I set mine up with um, my old software that it's just set up and I know that's pretty crappy of me, but I've forgotten how to do that. I think with some people it literally just works. Uh, with others you do need to have a little bit of a setup. There is for the Arduino uh, board, I believe you go into tools and you can select somewhere in there. And obviously I've got Arduino uh, Dumilenov, I don't know how to say it, selected. Um, and then all you need to do is click on the upload button, which is uh, one of those buttons up at the top. Uh, there under file or edit. I'm not sure which one it is off the top of my head, but it's one of those. And then that will upload the uh, needed code to your Arduino board. Now what you've got here is the um, R factor folder opened and the f structure in every file is the same pretty much obviously different names but they're laid out the same and what you're going to need is the connector exe um, and when you double click on that it will bring up like a little um, program uh, and now what you've got in front of you is the three that I use so you've got iRacing, Assetto Corsa and iFactor 2 I use a little drop down box and select COM port 3 for myself and then as you can see there there's uh, lower down there's a red box which says basically disconnected from iRacing when you have a su successful connection to iRacing that will go green now my understanding is the box underneath says uh, send data to RS232 uh, so check that box before you start the sim and then it will send data uh, and you only have one of these open of course um, depending on which sim you're running um, and then when everything is all good you should be presented with this screen where you can see it's connected to iRacing and that's nice and green and also sending data is nice and green uh, what we've got here, first of all, is just a little bit of footage from iRacing of the dash in action. Uh, and what you can see at the top there is the um, revs. Um, and they go red to green and then flash when it's time to shift. Uh, the gears on the left and speed in miles per hour on the right. The speed is very easily uh, edited within the Arduino sketch. Um, you simply have to change a certain line uh, that says, I can't remember exactly what it says, but it says metric uh, as it's variable. You want to change that to English if you want miles per hour. Leave it as metric if you want kilometers. I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's the correct way around. Um, but please do remember, if you're doing that, save uh, your sketch. And you will need to re-upload the sketch to the Arduino. It's not like a, a live change that will just work. You need to uh, re-upload it to the Arduino and then restart any connected any any program that's connected to a sim. It won't it won't simply just work for you like that, you know. It's not like a cloud storage thing or whatever. Okay, so next we have some footage from R Factor 2. Um, two things for uh, the R Factor games. Um, basically, you need to put, you, you, you'll have a file um, in there in the R Factor setup which uh, it says R Factor Memory Map Plugin. Now, in there, you're going to have to put the uh, memory map plugin DLL into the plugins folder in the core installation for R Factor, otherwise, this plugin won't work. Once you've done that, uh, when you're in SIM, remember you have to wait for the plugins to initialize. Uh, you'll be notified by this um, by a, an orange circle with a plug in the top left hand corner of your screen, and that 
after I think it's like 10 15 seconds shrinks and disappears then it activates plugins and then you get the result you see on your screen right now with the gears the, uh, the speed and, and the revs there and it all works as it should all lovely and such and then just to finish off we've got a Seto Corsa and that that was as simple as just clicking on the EXE just like with iRacing um, and it works exactly the same as well um, a few nice things um, I mean you can do fuel level and stuff with it but I think you need to use the buttons on the actual dash and clearly I can't do that um, but it's in the documentation if you want to check that out yourself um, and I'd like a lap counter on there personally but other than that um, that's about it guys I hope you found this helpful a sim dash for less than 15 well less than 14 pounds um, you can't really grumble seeing as an SLI type 1 is 100 pounds um, with no box either so yeah uh, I hope this has been good for you guys please hit the like button uh, comment and subscribe and I shall see you soon thanks a lot cheers